I'm Dr. Fritz Reed. I'm the director of Boreal and Arctic Conservation for Ducks Unlimited. So the Boreal Forest is the single largest terrestrial biome in the world. In North America, it represents a huge landscape of water, rivers, lakes, marshes, wetlands, and it provides waterfowl a great breeding landscape. It provides breeding habitat for about a third of the breeding ducks of North America. It's really the bird nursery of warblers, of thrushes, of raptors, of shorebirds, and it's really an amazing landscape. It's, well, the enjoyment itself is actually, it's right here. It's literally right here. I mean, it's quiet, it's pristine, it's very clean. Um, and we want to make sure that it's always here. And I always want to make sure that it's here. That's always been my point all through my life, I believe. That uh, in the end, that uh, in the end we wanted to see that the North stay the North. And this is actually what it is today. The Great Lakes of the Northwest Territories being a source of life that, uh, that uh, through visions that indigenous people have, we're working on protecting those, uh, those source of life, that water source. And Ducks Unlimited has been a great partner in that. This lake is, uh, is, is a source of our life to a large extent. Uh, you know, this is uh, we use this lakes. The lake system, the Great Slave Lake is our natural highway. It connects uh, us to our families in different communities around the lake. We use the, the, the lake to, to gather and, and enrich ourselves. So whether we're talking about the Dene, the Innu, the Inuviaduit, or any of the other indigenous communities across the north, it's important that they're now part of decision making and in fact in the forefront of that decision making as we look to the future and try to keep what makes this country great. And here in the Northwest Territories, it's all intact. And coming up with a plan to keep it that way, to meet communities' needs into the future, is part of what good conservation science is all about. When we marry that with traditional knowledge, with indigenous knowledge and indigenous rights, it creates a powerful combination that uh, is actually transformative it, instead of conservation being about saving something, it's about keeping things the way they are. How do we keep that pristine? That's the question. You know, we're not against development. We see development as a, as a, as a need to, uh, to live in the world today. We know uh, the, the, uh, the pressure is not coming from a proposed development, but from people populations. Uh, while there are small changes because of extraction, whether it's mining, whether it's uh, forestry, whether it's uh, oil gas, the extraction that they used used heavy arsenic as a byproduct and so the pollution that has occurred both right around the mine and through the streams. Uh, you have areas that are devoid of fish. The key is the protection of water. Some of these activities that had been done 50, 60 years ago, it's a huge cost. You know, some of these cleanup efforts are hundreds of millions, a billion dollars to clean up. And so if we can upfront recognize where we're gonna do activities, uh, permit activities in certain places, and monitor those activities so that they protect water resources, we really are a lot better off than spending huge amounts of money in the rears. As human society, We've got a pretty good idea and a pretty good record of, of man's footprints in the last hundred years. In North America, we've made many, many, many mistakes in how we put our foot down. 
in pristine areas. Here in the north, northern Canada, the area is still pristine. The successes of this boreal campaign are really built around the indigenous leadership. We have uh, over 600 bands of indigenous people that have lived here, you know, more than 10,000 years. And these peoples who've lived on the land know the land, uh, know the resources. And if Ducks Unlimited can help provide a little information or help in promoting their interests, we really have a great success. It's working in sync with First Nation organizations and working together in adhesion and making sure that there's policy and regulations that, uh, that can um, work alongside with industry and, and create better, better management, best management practices. Uh, so in the future that uh, the land will always be there for our children. So what Ducks Unlimited ha has developed is taking a satellite scene, which is typically six to eight million acres in size, and we're able to identify 40, 60 different types of habitats. It's really been a very, very useful tool in the north in guiding us. We can offer that information to the communities, to the regions. Uh, to government and state and show that this is information that is so so uh, detailed that it can be used for so many other so many other things. They've used maps for generations to document where they've been, the lands that they've used. And so by bringing DU science into this work, we're able to add whole new layers to that information. And that creates a powerful tool that communities can use to assert their rights and to set a plan for the future that reflects the lands that they have kept intact and the ways that they plan to do so. I hope that our work contributes to a lasting legacy of effectively protected areas that are under community management that people recognize as their own that people recognize as a legacy that they've built and that in fact come, becomes part of how Canada and how Canada's north is governed. This network of conservation areas that reflect the places that have always been important should be important in the future. And if I can contribute to that, I think I'll have uh, done my job. The Boreal Campaign is a really wonderful opportunity for waterfowl hunters, waterfowl enthusiasts, people that enjoy the great outdoors, to get involved in a chance to conserve one of the last great places on the globe. There are very few places where we can truly protect conserved habitat long term. We have the chance to work with these people, with leading industries, with leading governments, to put forth a place that will be protected long term.